Okay, here it is. Everyone has been texting me, messaging me on here, commenting on very, very, very old videos, including my Jason Twin um, theory from last April and everything. So here's my reaction. This is not going to be a summary, um, but this is just my reaction. going to be rambles and this and that. Okay, Charles is A. All right, first of all, um, everyone is saying, oh, his hair, his hair, his hair. Well, it's very obvious that that's a wig. Um, I knew it from the beginning. It didn't make me think, oh, it can't be Jason or it can't be so-and-so because they have blonde hair. It's definitely a wig. Also, um, just from perusing around, you know, every time something happens, whether, you know, Spencer was the one that had that black and white dream, things happen in her bedroom, and then... Charles, like, kind of, it seemed, wanted Spencer to figure out the clue or who he was or she. <coughs> and, sorry, let me take my medicine really quick. I'm sorry, this is random, but I just realized I have to take it at the same time every day. And, um... <laughs> I have a severe sinus infection, and it's very heavy-duty antibiotics, and if you don't take it at the same time every day, you'll get really sick, and um, this medicine's already making me sick, so that's my stomach pill. Okay, sorry, totally random, um, and I know I'm in a ramble, so. Um, it seems to me that Charles wants Spencer to figure out, so to me, it's somebody that's close to Spencer, at least I think so. As for the whole movie, okay, um, to me, and I said this from the beginning, I'm not convinced that, um, that they're twins, um, even though people are going back on that old thing, and congrats, almost, you almost got it, da, 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 and I totally forgot about the video, because I have, like, 1,200 videos on here, and I can't even tell you how many are actually pretty little liars, because I actually keep forgetting to tag them into those playlists, um, and people were blowing that up. I think there's like 1,500 views on it now, or I think 2,000 or something. That night, I got like 800 views in an hour, and it was crazy. So um, I think if you see the casting picture, the boys don't look to be the same age, and they cast on purpose, you know, obviously. So to me, it looked like the boys were different ages. And also, Jessica De Laurentiis says, kiss your sister, and looks at the one boy. I am not convinced that those boys are even brothers. They could be cousins. They look similar, but my cousin, even my boy cousin, actually it looks like he could be my brother. My cousins look very similar to me, um, at least on the one side. Um, so just because they look similar or they have similar doesn't mean anything. They can also be half-brothers, which is probably the case if they're not twins. Um, but it still makes me think that Charles or this person is still a Hastings because of don't turn your back on a Hastings, which um, Mrs. De Laurentiis says to Allie. So um, also, we don't know that that baby is Allie, okay? That could be Bethany Young for all we know. What is Bethany Young's role in all this? What is it? You know, was Bethany Young really Allie's twin? Did they have two sets of twins? Or what is it? What is the truth? Um, I really hope, you know, I hope people don't take this in an offensive way. But I really hope they don't go the whole Charles is actually a girl route. I don't think they're going to because this is a family channel. And they also mentioned before that's why they wouldn't have A be a parent because that's too dark for ABC Family. Um, honestly, I think this whole show is too dark for ABC Family. This episode was by far the creepiest episode. Um, besides the Ravenswood Halloween episode, was what, season three finale? Not four, right? Because I hated four. Um, our other clue was that the real Charlemagne in Ravenswood, the mime, more than likely was Charles or, you know, Charlemagne is the root name for, Char for, um, for Charles. Also, um, the great Charlemagne, when you look that up, it... I did some research, and it is Charles the Great, and um, Charles the Great was kind of um, wasted out of his family by his father, and ended up, you know, taking control and, uh, you know, becoming a 
the great and, and ruler. Um, so I don't know if that means that whoever his father is is the reason why he hasn't been around. But also we don't know that we haven't seen Charles in plain clothes. Because a lot of people say, oh, okay, we did see Charles in plain clothes on that video. How do we know we didn't see him now? That episode also, even though I feel like we got a lot more questions, which is Pretty Little Liars, um, I to me, maybe I'm naive or maybe you don't feel this way, but I felt like so many people came, came off our A-list. You know, to this day, you know, all the girls, obviously, are not the girls, okay? No parents. Even though they have said this, we didn't believe them, so all of those people are gone, okay? It's obvious not Allie. So Allie's off the list. Um, and then, I mean, I still don't think it's Toby. I know some people still think it's Toby, but th this is the thing about Pretty Little Liars or really any show. You don't know the time mark. So when you're seeing Tanner and Toby, you don't know if it's the same time as the girls are in the dollhouse. Um, you don't know that. You assume because they're in concession, but you don't know that. So Toby's like, uh, no, um, Caleb, it isn't Caleb, right? And a lot of people still say it could be Ezra, but I don't know. I, it just depends on the time step, I guess. I don't know. I, I, those are still, like, weird to me. But to me, it could still be Ren. Now, I am finishing. I'm on the last two books of the Pretty Little Liar series. I picked them up from the library yesterday, which is Toxic and Vicious. And in the books, and I know that they're not following the books, um, but they do take some parts from it. And the more that we've been getting into this series, the more they're kind of pulling different aspects of it. And I hadn't read it in a while, but I wanted to finish the series to see if there was any going to be any connection in the last um, season or two that we get. A lot of people believe that we're not going to have a seventh season, that the sixth season is going to be it to finish the story. Marlene King has said that, you know, the next ten episodes you'll learn everything you want to know about A and the backstory and all those things that then you can go back and watch the other episodes and you'll be like, oh, I get it. Okay. I know PLL Freaks 13 have said this too, but I'm sorry. I don't care what the background story is. <laughs> I'm not going to feel sorry for A. But, you know, I sat here and thought to myself, what if A was abandoned? What if A was... Now, they made a Phantom of the Opera um, reference. And also, we've seen... Now, I don't know if the real Charlemagne in that Halloween episode actually was A, was Charles. We see it with uh, paint on his face. Or we've had masquerade balls. And then, you know, they had the prom and he has a mask. Is he disfigured? Is there something with his appearance, somewhat like the Phantom of the Opera? And is that why they hid him away? It makes sense that Charles is a, because, like, you go back through everything, that that's why she would, re we've said it from the beginning, and then we assumed it was Jason, okay, or whatever, um, that, who would you protect? Your children, your husband, maybe your parents. So... Charles being, or I guess your family in some sense, but more so your child. So whether he, Charles is really, was Jessica's son or nephew, um, she protected him. Um, also because he, no one knew about him. So what is it? Uh, you're going to call the cops and say, oh, my son that's been hidden away or my nephew or blah, 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 just killed my daughter or she thought that Ellie was dead. So then the whole I can't protect you anymore email, you know, obviously, then the truth was going to come out. Charles knew that he or she was going to be exposed and she's dead. Um, in the books, the real court, Courtney is the, tw is the twin. Allison's twin is Courtney. And Courtney, am I right? Yeah. Courtney is the girl's best friends. And... Um, Pretty much after seventh grade graduation, Allie kills Courtney and lives has Courtney. But she's really Allison. Could this be Jason and Charles? Could uh, Charles have killed Jason and the Jason that we're seeing is actually Charles? I don't know. I don't know if they're going that route. Whatever. Um, Mona was alive. I actually kind of knew that was... I kind of knew. I mean, didn't we all know? Um, but she was extremely creepy. I mean, Mona has 
besides Ren, I really do like the Caleb character, but I mean, honestly, Ren and Mona are probably my favorite characters. And I was just so amazed at how well she played that creepy character. She's amazing. Janelle Parrish is amazing. Amazing. Two thumbs up. Um, but the thing that ticked me off is how many times are they going to get an opportunity to tackle A, pull the mask off? They could have done that when they ran away. A was no threat to them at that moment. A was actually very trusting. There was five of them versus Charles. And they could have took them. Emily could have took him or her. And, um... It kind of showed, you know, Mona says A has a soul. Um, A is just very troubled, obviously. Um, then you notice the A layer, it was all old, old TVs, like TVs I had when I was like six, like with the VCR in them. Those, I love those things. And they're all like stuff that it seems that Charles or, you know, whoever it is, just kind of collected and found. It's not new technology at all. And I think Marlene Kane said something about. Charles, like, is so resourceful that, but then I thought, well, A always has money, so why would he have all these bootleg TVs? So there's still, you know, she has given us the inclination that there's still an Uber A. He's big A. He stole the game from Mona. He, so, obviously, to steal the game from Mona, you had to be in Radley, right? So then, who's connected to Radley? Red. I am still hoping, and I know a bunch of you are, I'm still hoping and praying that Charles is really Red because Charles and Jason have never been in the same scene. Red also has not been around anyone but the girls, I believe. And then obviously Mr. and Mrs. Hastings. Never around any other characters. Never around Toby? I don't think he's even been around Toby. I don't think he's been around, uh, definitely not Caleb. Um, Page? I don't think so. He hasn't been around other people besides the girls and Mr. and Mr. Hastings and Melissa, obviously. So, why? Is he hiding? Is he pretending to be a somebody else? Because, in the books, a boy, Nick, who is Allison's boyfriend, in the books, pretended to be somebody else to each of the girls. The one girl knew him as a bartender. The one girl knew him as a guy that she dated. Uh, Arya knew him as a guy that she dated in Iceland. Um, that they stole a painting. Spencer knew him for something I can't remember. And Emily knew him from summer camp. Has, I forget what his name was. He pretended to be somebody else to all the girls. Okay, so are they going to use that? Um, God, I hope it's, I hope Charles is somebody we actually know. That it's a you know, pseudonym or whatever. Um, Ren's drawing at Radley. You remember that drawing? I just got rid of it off my phone. If I find it, I'll link it below. The red girl in the red dress at a horse farm, the Campbell farm, with the bo with the baby being thrown in the air, which was in that room, that um, memorabilia room or whatever Marlene King calls that A room. Um, why does he why is he drawing this one? Is it like a part of his personality? Is it something he's experienced? Why would that clue and that was one of the episodes that she said to rewatch three I can't remember what it was, when there he has that episode, I mean that conversation with Mona where she's like, Well that was before I knew where your loyalties lie. Remember? And he's drawing that thing with the red coat. Maybe being thrown in the air at the horse farm. How would he know about this horse farm? Isn't he supposed to be from London? How would he know about the Campbell farm? And why would he be drawing it? Does he have multiple personalities? Maybe. Everyone's like, well, you know, he has an accent. So you can't talk with an accent? Oh, come on, seriously? Like, anyone could talk with an accent. And um, some people are really good at it. Obviously, I wasn't. <laughs> But seriously, he's a psychopath. Um, all the stuff that happened in London when Spencer was there, to me, made it so obvious that it was Ren. Um, how was that possible that A would just follow her there and then, or would like set that up or like, that's not realistic. So I told you this is going to be a long video. So concluding this, one, 
I hope Charles is someone we know. Two, I'm not convinced that Charles is Jason's twin, like my theory was a long time ago. Or even his brother. It could be someone, it's definitely somebody related to the De Laurentiis, but I'm not convinced. I'm also not convinced that baby was Allie. It could be Bethany. Um, obviously, some, somehow it's connected to Spencer. So maybe it really is her, you know, Allie's brother, and it would be a half-brother to Melissa and... Spencer, if you, if it's Ren, can you imagine? Like, he's been, he kissed Spencer, first of all, and then he's been, you know what, with um, Melissa. That's his half-sister. That's disgusting. But he's mentally ill, so. Um, I don't know, guys. This, honestly, when the episode was over, I was furious. Because I said, Really? All these seasons, and you're going to pick some random person to say his A. Not somebody we've been invested with. Like, not saying I wanted to be Toby or I wanted to be Ezra. I wanted, but somebody that, like, Charles, like, I don't care about Charles. Like, unless it's really somebody that we know. I really hope that's how it turns out. Please, please, please. Because if it's some random person, it's so unrealistic. It really is. And we invested, I thought to myself when I was texting my friend Ellie and then my friend Paige, Thrifty Beauty on here. They were, you know, talking to me about this. And I said, I am so mad. Like, I feel like I wasted five seasons of watching this. And analyzing and posting hundreds upon hundreds of videos on here. For people like you that like hearing what I have to say about this. Um, so join the conversation below. Let's get talking about this stuff. I, I, I would love to just, on this video... Not in all my zillions of videos. Just on this video, let's start comments and I'll respond and we can talk back and forth about it. And um, it's going to be a long, long few months. But usually they premiere around my birthday, which is 30th birthday this year. So that will be really exciting if they premiere it um, the day before my birthday. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.